Coming to you live from Sock Monkey Tower, it is your Aquarius Pisces Tarot. Hello, oh, home slices. <sighs> Welcome to the channel. I'm glad here to be with you. About to bust a move on your tarot card reading today. So guess what? That's right, Aquarius Pisces is welcome. Come on in, sit down, relax, grab your coffee, whatever you gotta do to get hot. Chill out, put your feet up, relax. You know how we gonna get down. Let's do it, okay. So give a shout out to you who clicked this video and to my members and my subscribers, right? Gotta give the love to the haters and the ops. You know what I'm saying? Thank you all for that. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle these up here real quick. If they wanna cooperate, yeah. This deck, steampunk deck's a little finicky, right? Finicky, feline. Ugh. But nonetheless, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle these up one more time with this deck, because I'm using my steampunk deck and the Lightseer's Tarot in your face to get ready for your reading, right? Okay, so I hope you're doing well. You're enjoying yourself, right? Making it through the work week, How are you? All right. So, let's get into it right now. First card out. One card at a time, please. Because I use the two decks for the duality. I lay two cards down in the beginning. A smile and spread. That's how I made it up. 16 cards in total. Six and one is seven. I think you know where that seven comes from. Here's your first card of your energy. In the present moment. And we have the eight of swords. Look at you. Looking in that mirror. Looks like you're doing some kind of self-reflecting here, right? Mental in prison. Totally trapped in your mind, overthinking some things, okay? But definitely you are self-reflecting. All right, let's get the other card here and then we'll bust a move on your story, right? So stay with me to the end because you might miss your message. All right, seven of swords. Ooh, a lot of mind power. A lot of mind power. Okay, this is too easy. Eight of swords, seven of swords. You are definitely self-reflecting on what? Taking on too much, right? Look at your hands full. Seven of swords. Looking back to try to take the other two swords that you can't see because they're not in the picture. <laughs> Right, she's got five in her hand. So you're definitely self-reflecting about taking on too much at once. That is your energy now. Drink your coffee, drink your tea, whatever you got going on. Because we're gonna get into the story right now. The card to leave off, okay. So I'm gonna put you over here. I'll take this one over here. And let's get down to it. All right. Figure out what's going on with this. Three of Cups. Huh. Okay, well this is like excitement. This is uh popping bottles. This is this could be third party situation. Okay, so it could be that you're dealing with a bunch of people, right? Three there's like three people in that, right? So taking on too much is what? Trying to like appease or somehow like, um, you know, manage a group of people in a sense, manage as in how you're gonna manage uh, this friend, that friend, this friend, right? Or this family member, that family member. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Going to the moon, baby. Let's take a trip to the moon, baby. <laughs> okay. Well, this is definitely being guided because all that light is being shined on the moon. So this is a draw because what the moon does draw our energy is our emotions. Okay, but I don't think that you see something. There's something that's in the dark, something that 
maybe hasn't been revealed to you yet about dealing with a group of people. <clears throat> Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Frustration, bitterness, sorrowful, right? But I think really here we're looking at the five. Let's change. Cups, your emotions. So what you're not seeing is your emotions about to change. Mmm, really? Really? Yeah, all right. Well, what is this about? Ooh, it's about being done. More swords energy, four swords laying this to rest. Okay, so um, now I see why you have this self-reflection and overthinking some things because dealing with a group has been very frustrating for you and you want to lay this to rest. Mm, taking on too much. Yeah, how do you like that? I like it a lot. All right. Two of Swords. What am I saying? Swords. All oh, the swords. It's wands. <laughs> Two of wands. Hello. Okay, last night was a lot of thunderstorms. Bang, bang, boom, right? And my dog was like freaking out. Uh, almost damn near jumped on the night, you know, the nightstand next to the bed and all that. So I had to like turn on the fan, turn on some music, cover the window because the lightning flashes freak her out. Not only the big booms, but. So she was up in the closet on a bunch of blankets, all shivering and shaking. So you know, I turn the fan on to cool her off a little bit so she didn't overheat and die on me. And um, yeah, so mm, mm, mm. I did get some sleep, but I was up really early. So I'm in this weird kind of funky mood, funky fresh mood. <laughs> So you want to lay this to rest and you're definitely in a, a situation where you're about to make a decision. And the decision is that you are definitely understanding that you're taking on too much when it comes to a group of people. So what you're not seeing is about how you're going to feel the change in laying this to rest. So that means you're about to be done with dealing with so many people. Two of wands, wands that are two, followed by, oh, the page of wands. All right, yep, page of wands. Hmm. Dare I tell you what I'm seeing? <laughs> but of course I will, right? So here we're gonna reverse it a little bit with that two of wands. See the wand she's holding in her hand? Yeah. You're about to make a decision whether you should take that wand and start clubbing people with this. <laughs> That's the beat stick, my friends. Yeah. Totally vibing off the intuition. So all you haters and critics that are like, that's not what the tarot card means. Have a nice day. Because that's not how I always roll. You know what I'm saying? It's too too easy just to read all the definitions and then chatter this shit off to you and then kind of formulate this scheme, plot, storyline for you. Uh, but I guess that'd be better than stalking your social medias and then telling you, hey, you're about to go on vacation when it says on your social media that you're going on vacation. I can't with that criminal stuff. Right, so you're, about, <laughs> you're debating whether you should beat this crowd silly. Metaphorically speaking, of course, we don't condone violence here unless it's authorized. You know what I'm saying? 
But even then, it's not really because you should let judgment be gone from your mind and let God take care of all that. So there is your next card. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I think that you're just going to... <clears throat> really, instead of... Like I said, getting your beat stick out and really taking care of these people, you're gonna just, you know, slowly and steadily, like, drift away. Yeah, you're gonna start moving away because knights are about taking action. Stability is obviously with the pentacles. So there's a choice, right? So here's your choice. On one hand, on one hand, you want to take your club <clears throat> and whack them, right? But on the other hand, you want to slowly move away from them. That's why you have those two wands there, right? Interesting factoid. All right. Let's get another car here and see what the verdict is going to be for this little situation here you got. It's a little snafu. Snafu to you. Oh, well, you're going to make the right decision. So you're going to definitely invest in slowly phasing these people out. Yeah. Told you, violence isn't always necessarily the answer, but it is a good option. <laughs> Obviously, with the two of wands. Oh, you funny guy this morning, huh? Yeah, I'm full of it. Full of piss and vinegar. All right, judgment. That's what just popped out, judgment. Okay, so that is your final answer. Yeah. Show me the case. What's in your case? Judgment's in your case. Done. Done deal. Now with the reading, so hold on. Don't just, just take off yet. You know, so we'll see what comes after this judgment. And that's perfect because that judgment card's underneath the five of cups, changing your emotions. So instead of beating the hell out of somebody, pardon my French, even though I don't speak French, um, you decide to slowly move away. And that is your investment to just call judgment. Okay, so your next card is the uh, Page of Swords. Hmm. Well, I don't think you're going to be researching anything. I don't think you're going to be gathering some information. I really feel that you are prepared to have a conversation. Because swords is your mind and your communication. Air signs rule that exactly. So, you're gonna speak this, but it's only gonna be a little bit, right? So your judgment is to inform these people that I'm going to lay all this garbage that is being really uh, too much for me, and I'm really in this uh, reflection mode of myself, overthinking some things and I'm really about to pull the plug and lay this stuff to rest. Bueno. Five of swords. Oh my God, again? Well, a lot of swords. I mean, a lot of swords energy. So a lot of mental energy, a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of uh, mental energy, a lot of communication. So you're definitely going to express how frustrating that you are with this Five of Cups, but also with the Five of Swords. It's like, ah, uh, it's almost like brutal, okay? You're going to really lay into these people, not as in um, physically, but in your communication skills. Because the Five of Swords is really, uh, that's a pretty brutal card, right? That's like winning, fighting at all costs, winning at all costs, you know, cutthroat, all that kind of stuff that goes with it. But um, you're definitely going to lay into these people about how you feel, and uh, you're not gonna be afraid to speak this, okay? Ooh, what you got going on? Right, all righty. I'm about to wind up here with a curveball and uh, throw down the last card of your story, right? 
But like I said, don't take off just yet because we got your verdict, your grand slam, your home run, your two of cups. Yeah, so this is definitely, I mean, also with this five of swords, you could be walking away, right? So definitely friends because two of cups is coming together. It's unity, right? Also could be um, a relationship and friendship is what? A relationship, okay? Doesn't always have to be love. So you're definitely going to express to these people how frustrating and how um, they were about to get the beat down, right? And, and, and you avoided that. So you're speaking all of this, okay? You're telling them, I have two choices. I'm going to either walk away from you, I'm going to beat the snot out of you. Metaphorically speaking, but maybe you could want to do that, okay? All right, let's zip, zip it and go and ship it to the last cards of your story here for the verdict. 14, 14 was on the clock or 16, 16 now. Oh crap, I'm seeing all kinds of double numbers. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. You're like, Psh, man, I'm just gonna be by myself, single, independent, beautiful, very stable, right? So this this helps your stability somewhat because you were in the Eight of Swords and now the one of the outcomes is that you're in that Nine of Pentacles. So you'd rather just be by yourself, right? Because you're all happy and doing your own thing, right? You don't need these kind of complications or these problems that are unforeseen and just makes you feel frustrated. And like I said, you're on that, you were on that point of wanting to Billy Club somebody. We all get that way, but this is an awesome transmutation of your energy, right? Hey, what was that? Come on now. Don't be all shy. Come on out. Where did you go? I know I seen a car flipped upside down. Ah, <laughs> told you. selfish are you <laughs> tiny bit devil card selfishness right so you're gonna be selfish right you're gonna be selfish and you're gonna uh, choose to like I said walk away you're gonna tell them why you're walking away and uh, some might see that as selfish but you know what sometimes we do need to be in that selfish energy to protect our own uh, vitality and our own stability and our own mental welfare and well-being right so yeah I mean in this case um, to be a little selfish is 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 okay right with that devil card devil isn't always bad okay minus what you think in your stereotypical social means of that kind of programming mm, this is the case where it needs to be where now it's transmuted to the good because I think if you would have stayed in this energy, you probably would have whacked somebody for sure. I could see the frustration. I could see that kind of, mm, you're turning me better, right? I don't know what they were doing to you, but you definitely were fed up, okay? And I don't blame you for being a little selfish, right? And just going on your own. Hey, you know, sometimes that's what's gotta happen. You know what's gonna happen now? Nothing, because that is the end of your reading. <laughs> Wow, huh? How do you like that for some selfish energy? <laughs> Sorry, I have other readers to, um, I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> I was having some fun this morning with, um, checking out a couple tarot readers that are, you know, pretty uppity up there, and, uh, I don't know where they get their facts from, but pretty sure that in the Bible it only says that there's only one archangel mentioned that's it that's it there are seven princes but one archangel okay so I don't know anyways uh, I just like to ramble I'm kind of maybe a little overtired I don't know I'm gonna enjoy my day because it's nice and bright and sunny out my coffee my dog's fine she's not shivering under the damn table
table anymore, huh, baby? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's it. 20 minutes, we're done. That's been your free tarot card reading. I appreciate your time, your energy. Binge my playlist. I'm really telling you, I got some good stuff out there for you, okay? And uh, check out my shorts too, okay? Because there's a lot of messages that are subliminal in those shorts, okay? So it's not always about the lip syncing. It's about the message that's being said, okay? So check all that out. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your grandmother, tell your paper boy, everybody about my channel. Be blessed, be brave, and be well. Enjoy the rest of your work week, my friends. And guess what? I'll see you again. Peace and pray. Have a great day.